let's practice safe quickie. How long should your password be? It's all about a concept called entropy, which is the number of bits of uncertainty the password has and is therefore related to the number of guesses a hacker will have to make to get the right password. A good low-end target is 64 bits of entropy for your password. Even if an attacker can try 1 billion guesses a second, it would still take him over 500 years to try every possible password. So what does 64 bits of entropy look like? Here are several different ways of making a password based on the same 64-bit random number. The length of the password has to do with how many different characters can be in any given position. For typable non-white space ASCII characters, that's 94. 64 bits in base 94 will be 10 characters long. But that's hard to type and hard to remember, so this is only recommended if you can store it in the password manager, and even then you might as well make it a lot longer. People talk about how insecure alphanumeric passwords are, passwords that have no symbols, but really, it takes just 11 characters to represent this same 64 bits of entropy alphanumerically. And making it case sensitive doesn't really do that much to help you either, as opposed to making it longer. Here's the same 64 bits of entropy using all the characters that can be typed on a standard US keyboard without the shift key. This is going to be easier to type, and it only needs to be 12 characters long. If you stick with lowercase letters and numbers, then just make it one character longer. 13 will do. See? You can make a password much more secure just by making it longer than by making it more complex. And the more complex password is harder to remember and type. But there's a limit. If you stuck to just numbers, you'd need 20 characters to represent the same 64 bits. Keep this in mind whenever you need to make a good, strong password you can reliably type, like the master password on your password manager.